All right, that little clip was it uh, starting the truck up after sitting a month, and it fired right up, which means I got all the air purged out, and there's no, I guess you call it leak down to where it takes a while to prime the system back up. Um, this video is mainly going to be about exhaust, and what I've got is the factory, that's the factory downpipe. It's three and a half inch, and it comes down, it comes down, and it's supposed to connect to a cat, but I don't have a cat, so I bought this cat delete pipe. So this is where it hooks up to the downpipe, and this is still three and a half inch. And so what I did was I got a three and a half to four inch, and I welded it on, and then I'm going to utilize, I've got a bunch of spare pieces of exhaust. Um, just different, I think that's two systems, two different systems, but they're all four inch. And I'll utilize that, plus I have the, all the exhaust I kept on this truck, the donor truck, which is all four inch. And I'll probably use the hump for the, um, I'll use the hump for the, uh, over the axle. And it still has all the hangers in place. I still have all these hangers. And then I've got stuff like this to bolt and hang on. And it's got, I've kept the hanger there. I kept that one there. I think that's it. So it should all, it shouldn't take too much. I'll just go over the hump. This will stick out probably right to where, right, right where that hanger is right there. So I should be able to use that. And I got another hanger back there, but I think this one, I could put that there and that will clamp to that. And then I'll probably just need a couple of feet to make it to the hump over. But I'm gonna get that fabbed up and then the tail light harness is done. I finished that, it's all, I got brand new sockets. The only thing left before I set the bed down is this. This will have to be moved over to about right here. So about 20 something inches, two foot almost. So I'll have to, I'll probably cut, cut the hoses here, 90 them both over, and then 90 them back to where this can bolt into the bull nose uh, gas filler neck thing. I'll have to figure something out, but I might, I might just put the bed on first. That way I can figure out where exactly it needs to go. Plus I need to get rid of, I need to get rid of that rolling scrap heap. Um, I'll probably see if anybody wants the motor and transmission. The motor's only got 10,000 miles on a rebuild. It ran real good. I got a video of it. But anyways, I'm going to get on this exhaust. Oh, and I got the interior all in. Um, glove box is in. The full drive shifter vinyl floor, which it's going to come out. I'm going to put carpet. I bought the wrong floor. This isn't molded. It was just one big piece. But uh, I did get all the seats in. They, you know, I hooked up power. They all work. Got the center console. passenger seat, which it's hooked up to electric, and I moved it forward to get to the back bolts. Now it won't move back, so I need to take that seat back out and kind of work that motor. I had to do that to this one, um, but I got a new. I bought one of these because the the factory ones are vinyl and foam, and they peel up. Well, you can buy this is just molded plastic, so now I won't ever do it again. But uh, yeah, so I got the center console. They don't have a radio yet. But, yeah, the vinyl floor, you know, it's it's just too... I put it out in the sun for two days, 80-degree weather. And, yeah, the, the flashing and stuff will go over it, but I just... It's not what I thought it was going to be. It's not a molded piece, and carpet was on back order. So, I'm going to go ahead and order carpet because it's molded. It's got all the contours you need and it won't it won't do this see this is all lumped up and i don't, just don't like it you know and it doesn't come out as far as i need it to so that'll go away i'll put carpet in it and just take a little bit i'm gonna ride i'll ride this for now and then uh since i gotta take this seat back out to fix it it's no big deal plus i found this uh this carpet piece this actually goes behind the cab or behind the seats um, right here and it covers all this up, it covers this metal up and it comes and covers up that hump. So I need to put that in too anyways. And then of course the headliner and all that. But let me get on this exhaust because this, you know, I tried to look for a single cab long bed exhaust, couldn't find it. So I'll have to just piece my own together and, and uh, it should work.
All right, so what I did was this is the this is the hump part from this long section. This came on the crew cab, Super Duty. Um, and so it still has that hanger. The bad part is that's kind of crushed. Yeah, I did that myself. But it sticks out further than the, than the tire, so I might be able to lop it off somewhere. But okay, so I got the hanger. It goes over the loop. I tied it up to this hanger right here. And so what that does is it puts it where I need it to be just to take measurements, but it clears everything. Um, and then I've got this bolted up, up underneath to the downpipe. So I'm looking at, you know, it's not that, not that far. I'll take a tape to it, find a piece, cut it, and we'll fit it in. All right, exhaust is finished. I just so happen to have a good straight run of pipe from a bunch of junk. And so I just used the hump, cut it, cut it to where I needed it to. Um, and then just clamped it for now. I wanna see how, how the drum is and how loud it is before. Cause I have that muffler, it's a straight through. So it's still straight pipe, it's just quiets it down a little bit. And then this right here, I'll have to cut it once I put the bed on. I'll probably just cut it at an angle. <clears throat> but yeah, it's pretty, uh, I mean, it's pretty sturdy. I had to, I've got that hanger there. Then I had to make a hanger here, which isn't, isn't uh, the prettiest thing. And then it just runs all the way up in there. And I could put more hangers if I wanted to, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. But uh, we'll see what it sounds like now that we got it coming out from behind the wheel instead of right here behind the cab because it was drone in pretty bad when I was test driving it. All right, I got the I got the bed up on the lift, and what I'm gonna do is while I got it up here, I'm gonna do a little prep underneath. I think this thing I don't know if it had factory undercoating. Looks like it did. Some places where it's coming off, but I'm gonna treat the rails and wherever it looks like it's rusting, which is just right there. I mean, everything else looks good. Even right in here where these lips are underneath. There's somewhere it came off. I've already kind of scraped it, but it, look, that's good metal. I'll just spray some undercoating on that. All these lips look good. So I'm just gonna do some prep before I back that truck up underneath it and we'll set it down, take a look. Okay, I'm gonna end this video with the bed. I got it set down on the truck, but uh, it is not secure.
it's just kind of uh it's teeter tottering right now if i let this down it's just it's teeter tottering and what it's catching on is uh <laughs> This is the Super Duty gooseneck that somebody put in. And it sits taller than those rails before the rails set down on the bolt holes. This, it sits on this and it just, it teeter totters. So I'm gonna have to cut these out. I guess I was gonna try to keep them in there and put that hideaway hitch back in the bed, but I don't think, uh, I ain't really worried about it because I didn't plan on pulling a, a gooseneck anyway. So I'll probably cut those off and then that way the bed can set down. But I mean, other than that, it, it I took some pictures of it. It looked pretty good setting down on it. Um, let me lower it back down. It'll get there. There we go. But yeah, it's kind of just, I mean, it's, it'll line up. It's just, you know, this, that corner needs to come down and it can't because once I hit that corner down, then that corner wants to come up and so does this corner. It's just teeter-tottering on that, that thing. But uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, see, I need to come down a little bit on this one too. Just wants to teeter. But uh it just needs a good wash job. Put the doors back on it. Should be good. But uh, that's about it. Um, I've got some of the front end back together. Headlight, the headlight bezel buckets and all that stuff. It looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, might be a while before my next video just because it's a lot of odds and ends. And uh, I've been sick. I'm still sick and um, got to go back to work and some other stuff going on, holidays and all that. So it'll be a little bit before next video, but hopefully the next one, the bed will be on. I did pick up a tailgate uh, a while back, about a week ago. There it is right there. Paint match, sort of. It come with a middle trim piece, which is actually pretty cool. And then I picked up some new mirrors because mine were all busted up. Um, but yeah, that's it. Anyways, um, like I said, it'll be a while before next video, but I'll post pictures and stuff too to my Instagram. I'll put a link in the bottom as I get stuff going. Appreciate it.